back to my channel. So in today's video is going to be something that I've kind of done a video on, but I didn't do a full in-depth video or a how-to on, and that is going to be how to change your tongue ring. So let's just get started. So the main first thing you want to actually do before you even start changing your tongue ring or even think about changing your tongue ring is you want to make sure that your tongue is fully healed before you want to, you know, change your tongue ring and risk getting infected and have to take it out or risk it bleeding. Um, so as you guys know, I got mine pierced on March 2nd. You guys remember the video I did? Okay, if not, I will leave those two videos. I will leave the video of me getting it pierced and me changing it for the first time in the description below. And I changed it. I wanted to change it the first week that I actually fully had it pierced because, you know, the bar was kind of too long. I was just wanting to change it out and have fun with it. But I actually waited until either April 1st or 2nd. I was in Florida when I changed it. So I got it pierced on March 2nd and I waited until April 1st or 2nd to actually change it. So I waited an actual full month to change it. Uh, so that's the main first thing you want to do is make sure it's fully healed so you won't risk getting infected or it bleeding or hurting when you go to change it. Okay. The second thing you want to do is make sure before you even change any kind of jewelry or anything is make sure the one you're going to change it to is oh, sterilized and she had to throw her 10 cents in and so i got mine sitting in some um alcohol and they're in the bathroom right now so let's move to the bathroom and i will show you guys how to change your tongue ring okay so i got my tongue ring that i'm going to show you guys how to change the change in this video I got it sitting in some hand sanitizer or alcohol. Which one ever it is, it'll work the same because it's alcohol. So, the next thing that you want to make sure to do is wash your hands and make sure you clean your tongue. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. So, and for this, I'm just, for my hands, I want to use this Bath & Body Works Foaming Hand Soap, Wildberry Friessa. I've had this soap for many years. I've had it since my 13th birthday. So I've got it on my hands. Going to get it nice and foamy. Turn on my water. Hands are washed. Use this wash rag that I had laying here just for this video. Okay. Next thing you want to do is use some mouthwash to rinse out your mouth and brush your teeth. I'm not going to brush my teeth because they're already brushed. So, uh, so I'm just going to rinse out my mouth with mouthwash. Give me just a second and I'll go get it. So the actual mouthwash that I actually used when I pierced, got my tongue pierced was the ACT one. This, and you want to make sure, make sure that it also has zero alcohol in it. And I got the ACT one. This was like at Dollar General for like two or three dollars. So, and this is the ACT one. It's mint. So, as you guys can see, it's just mint. And I got the squeezy kind. So I'm gonna fill it to about right there. And take it like a shot. Okay, so after your mouth is nice and clean and your hands are nice and clean, the next thing you wanna do Remove your thing, your tongue ring, from your alcohol or whatever you had cleaning it. So this is the one that I am changing it to. It's just a green with rebel flag. Looks like this. 
but I'm only going to change it to this one for the video purpose unless I really like it. So, and this is how long the bar is. So actually the one I got my mouth is just my gold one because for my pregnancy video, I changed from this one. So, so let's just get started. So you want to take the ball off and so you won't be sitting there trying to screw the ball off for like 30 minutes. So, and it's externally threaded. As you guys can hear her, she's in her walker right there in the hallway. So the next thing you want to do is actually start taking it out of your tongue. So there is the gold one and actually if you had the tongue ring in for so long it feels so weird to talk without it so here's the hole now you can either do this top to bottom or bottom to top so whichever you find is easier for you to screw the ball on I'm gonna go bottom top so I can just screw the ball on on top. It's easier. And this is all you do. And now you just screw the top ball on or bottom ball. And there you go that is basically all you do when you change your tongue ring I kind of like this one but I kind of really like my gold one too so I really don't know which one to leave in I'll think about leaving this one for in for a little bit and that got her attention because she loves playing with my tongue ring so and like I said that is basically all you do when you're changing your tongue ring so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in just a second so yeah, like I was saying, that is everything that you do when you change your tongue ring. Oh. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. So if you really liked this video, let me know down in the comments. If you guys really liked this video, of me showing you guys how to change your tongue ring let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to show you guys how to change any other piercing except for like belly button or you know things like that because i ain't got those yet so yeah give it a big thumbs up go down and subscribe if you're not already to become a member of my family and i'll see you guys in my next one turn on a little bit of enough phone upload and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys